Hi guys. So, can we just talk about how love sucks? Let's get that out the way. No, I'm just joking. Love is awesome. What's up, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Mia back with a new video and today's video is, as you guys saw in the title, today we are doing a Q&A. Okay? Yeah, we're gonna do a Q&A plus probably a venting session because your girl got a lot on the noggin and she gotta let it out. Also, welcome to my crib. <laughs> So I just went on Instagram and asked you guys to leave a few questions. They're pretty questionable, but we're going to find good ones. First off, let's start with age because that's like everyone's question. I am 19 years old, but I'm not a baby, okay? Don't be coming at me talking about, oh, you a baby. No, I wasn't a baby two seconds ago. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I am 19. My full name is Mia Marie Mugabero. What else? I am single. That, that's asked a lot, whether I'm taking or single. We'll get into that, though. Oh, I live in Chicago. I used to live in LA. A lot of people remember me from, like, LA dance videos, but, like, your girl don't live there no more. So, I'm born and raised in Chicago suburbs, but I moved out to LA to pursue my dreams seven years ago. Then, during COVID, moved back home to be with family and just, like, you know, COVID hit everybody real rough. Yeah, that's kind of like a recap on my life. Okay, let's read these questions. When are you coming back to Vegas to teach? Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> but I literally want to travel and teach again. I really, 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 really miss teaching all over. Also, while I'm on here, any professional work or business inquiries, please email meanmuggin03 at gmail.com. How do you learn how to dance and how has it affected your life? When I was three, my parents put me in like a ballet class, like a baby ballet class. And then ever since then, like I never stopped moving, they said. Um, also, I was like six months old and every time like music would play, I would like bob my head like this, I guess. My parents told me, you know, bob my head like this. And they thought something was wrong with me. And then they ended up finding out I was just born to be a dancer. So, yeah. Born by a boombox. Isn't that what it is? Born in a boom. The step up phrase? Stop. My biggest goal in life, to be in a step up movie, period. And I don't think they're ever gonna make another one. Um, how has it affected your life? Dance has affected my life in the most positive way possible. One, dance is my therapy. So when I'm sad, mad, happy, like it results in dance, always. Like no matter what, I'm dancing. It's also given me a way to express myself socially on a platform. Um, it's also paid my bills. It's also given me life experiences that I never thought I would have. How do you freestyle and come up with moves on the spot? I've trained in foundation. I have a lot of foundation that I can pick and choose from. And I also let the music move me. And having a solid base of everything, it's very easy for me to just move and allow the music to take me because I don't have to stress about what the move looks like because I've trained it so much. So it's just a matter of like practice makes progress. Um, to take you on a bowling date, do I gotta be rich or famous or that doesn't matter? That doesn't matter at all. Like, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys right now. Me out of all people, I am the most unmaterialistic person in the world. I do not care at all. Like, I don't ask for nothing. Some reason, like, I can't have someone really, like, pay for me or buy me things like i love gift giving it's like my love language i love getting people gifts and i love like little things there's been a boy he like messed up or whatever story of my life but he messed up and he was like what do you want me to buy you and i'm like i don't want nothing if you think i'm that shallow of a person like you don't know me for real if you think that you buying me a bag or or taking me on vacation or taking me out to dinner, like if you think that that's really going to substitute you being loyal or you loving me for real and you being a genuine good person to me, like if you think that's gonna substitute that, I don't, uh, uh, we, we not locked in. Like we can never be locked in if that's how you are. I'm just not a materialistic person. I'll give the shirt off my back to someone in need or to someone I love if they need it. You know what I'm saying? Like. I never would ever be like, oh, you're too broke for me. And I feel like nowadays, society and girls nowadays in this generation really value a boy who can buy them things. And it's like, girl, you're probably getting cheated on. <laughs> I mean, to each his own. If you want, if you want to be that way, and you want to, you want to be up a thousand. I, I'm not bashing nobody. Get your bag, sis. If you're gonna get cheated on, you might as well get cheated on in a Rolls Royce. But 
I'm just not that person. That kind of went into a whole rant, but do you think you accomplished most of the things you wanted to in 2022 specifically? To be honest, I wish I would have done more and I would have accomplished a lot more. I slacked and I was very, very lazy and I will never do that again, like ever. Uh-uh, not him trying to spin the block. Mm, boy, turn around. <laughs> you must go where you were at. Stay there. <laughs> Stay that way. There's traffic in my lane, okay? You want to go over there. Okay, I have a really good question here. It says, how do you cope with heartbreaks or failed situations? <sighs> I'm the CEO of this because I've never been in like a solid relationship. So I've only dealt with situationships because no one ever thinks I'm enough. Word. I think I'm enough. But with that being said, how I cope with it. It sucks. I am a lover. Like, no matter how hard people think I am, I am such a lover girl and I'm such a person who wants to see the best in somebody that isn't showing me the best. Like, I'm such a person who sees potential in someone and believes it. And that's what messes me up. I'll sit here and I'll give chance after 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 chance because I believe that what if I don't give them one more chance and that's the chance that will change their life? You know what I'm saying? And also, when I'm done with somebody, call it raps. I'm done. I'm not spinning the block. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That that really had nothing to do with the real question. But I used to, I'll post my feelings on social media or like I'll post a song I'm feeling or petty TikToks. I used to be really bad with petty TikToks. Like, and I'm going to be honest. And if you're watching this, any of my failed situationships that were mad at me for posting TikToks, um, they were about you. But anyways, I used to cope by doing that. And honestly, that was my way of really coping. Like, I could really get through a situation by sitting there and, like, making humor out of it. Or, like, making videos out of it. Like, that's just how I was. That's what, how my brain was wired. And that's what helps my heart out. But people would constantly be like, you're so childish. You're so immature. And it would, like, it would hurt. Because I'm sitting here and doing something good for me. And doing something to get over the pain you caused me. I stopped doing that. Another way I cope is I've never been a blocker. I've never blocked. I've always been the one that gets blocked. I don't know why because it's like I'm not gonna text you. Like <laughs> I'm not gonna text you. So I've never been a blocker. Well I hate to break it to you guys but I lied. I indeed just blocked the guy I'm talking about. I look back and I'm just like Mia you're so stupid. Like you're so stupid. But anyways he told me that he would call me on the 30th. I gave him till 2 a.m. on the 31st my time because LA time would be 12 a.m. And I blocked him that minute. No, like I literally scheduled it. Like I literally put it in my calendar. I'm not playing with my heart this this year. And then God put somebody in my life that I'm kind of mm, about. So. so I take back what I said. I do do the blocking and I will continue to do the blocking. I love it. I love it. Because at the end of the day, it's his loss. That must suck. He don't know I know this. Now he's going to know. He was on a whole trip with another girl and then thought he was able to come back and decide he was going to talk to me about our issues. You are so out of your mind if you think that you could put me on pause to be with another girl and then like resume with me. That is, that's nasty. Anyways, that's a, that's a weak moment for me. We're just not going to talk about it no more. Ooh, am I a stalker? Am I a stalker? I will stalk the living shit out of you. I will. I'm sorry. I will social media stalk you. I am the FBI. I'm like, the way I'm revealing myself right now, but like literally, I will stalk you because it helps me like get some type of closure. The closure I need is to find pieces and puzzle them together, which I literally did yesterday and this morning. I am really good at what I do. It honestly kind of scares me. It scares my friends. I will put two and two together and it's always right. But anyways, that helps me cope so i will continue to do that i don't care but i'm honest about it if i do that i really like you and i really care for you so you should be happy you should be happy that takes a lot of time effort and heartbreak i don't know that's how i cope how do you not settle for less <laughs> i don't know you need to ask somebody else that one i can't help you with how did you figure out your worth I've always known my worth. Like, my parents raised me really, really well to know my worth. Um, however, I still let people play with it. <laughs> don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. What are a few goals you have for this coming year? Drop music, drop my clothing line, pass my real estate exam. 
my phone okay so my phone's on the charger over here so i can't hold it right now but a question is what is your love life looking like recently trash um i've been stuck on this same guy for 365 days yeah which is unbelievable of course there's been like months a few months out of the year that like i was talking to other people but like i've been stuck on the same person for a year now and um that's enough he's been an emotional roller coaster i like people for who i think they could be instead of who they are that's where i get messed up okay so honestly looking like back i have absolutely no reason to like this person absolutely no reason for me to be attached to this person however i, I am was i just got to the point where I can't keep hurting myself by loving you. It is exhausting. But yeah, that was my little yeah, yeah. I don't know, y'all. Stop asking me. <laughs> Where's your mama? Like, you gonna play in my face. Play with your mama, not me. Now I'd be wrong to cut off five of his dreads. Now I know my worth. So thank you for that. I, I wish you nothing but the best. And you're doing absolutely amazing because I'm doing amazing. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen, we got over him. Woohoo. I don't like sound delusional. I just really care for this person. I just don't want to see nothing bad happen to him. I deserve better. All my friends tell me I deserve better. Yeah. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Comment any questions you guys have for me if you guys want another Q&A. Um, any video ideas. Uh, I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell for post notifications. I love you guys so much. Bye.